So I'm here at uh, the foot of the Black Mountain Nature Reserve. I'm hoping to do a bit of a hike today around Little Black Mountain uh, and hoping to see some wildlife. So Little Black Mountain is often overlooked by walkers uh, who are all taken to Big Black Mountain with the giant Telstra Tower on top. Uh, my favorite though of the two mountains is actually Little Black Mountain. I think it's a really beautiful, peaceful place to go walking. So I'm here, obviously if I'm talking about Black Mountain Telstra Tower, I'm here in Canberra. Um, it's the middle of summer, sort of mid-January, and it's, a, it's gonna be a relatively sunny, hot day. Uh, I think the forecast high today is for 32 degrees Celsius, that is, and uh, it's currently about 20. It's 9 a.m. and it's about 20 degrees. Here in Canberra, or for a lot of Australia actually, you wanna do, morning walks or evening walks when it's the cooler parts of the day because that's when you're going to get a lot of the wildlife being really active things like kangaroos and wallabies um, you know when the day start and the birds actually when the day starts getting hot they tend to hide away and rest over the hot part of the day which is very sensible um, I think actually I should probably do that too but I don't and then I end up cooking myself and being dehydrated and all that fun kind of stuff uh, but yeah, anyway, it's a good time in the morning. I've seen quite a few gang gang cockatoos already, which is good because it means the wildlife is still active right now. So hopefully we'll see something exciting. Also at 9am, as it's starting to warm up like this, it's a good time for spotting snakes and other reptiles who are warming up ready for the day. So I'm hoping I don't come across any snakes. Lizards would be really cool. Snakes are also cool, but obviously, you know, come with that danger factor, which doesn't really do, you know, it's really fun to see them, but the danger's not so great. Um, yeah, so anyway, hopefully we see something interesting. Otherwise, it should just be a really pretty hike. We've got lots of cool flowers and things, and the bush is just really pretty here at Black Mountain Nature Reserve. Um, I, I especially think so around uh, Little Black Mountain. The other thing I uh, forgot to mention as I head under the highway here into the reserve is this time of the year there's a lot of butterflies. Um, I can't tell you what kind of butterflies. It's not my, I haven't learned the butterfly species yet here in Australia, but uh, there should be a lot of butterflies in the nature reserve, which is also really pretty. Because as you walk along, there's just lots of butterflies flying around, which is always pretty. So, as I said, lots of butterflies. I don't know if you can see that. The GoPro's not so good at picking up those small uh, insects and things in the environment, but there's quite a few of them flying around. Um, the other thing that's happening, I'm seeing quite a lot of, and you usually see it this time of the year, is a lot of a very cool flower. I believe it's called a yellow everlasting. I'll just find you some. There really cool dry flower so they you know I'm not encouraging you to pick native flowers out of wildlife parks but these are a dried flower so they hold their color and shape really well uh, even once they're picked they don't sort of wilt and die so I don't know here's a, a nice little patch of them little yellow everlastings a very pretty flower and a nice summer flower so for the walk today, I'm hoping I can find some wallabies or kangaroos. It's not too hot yet for them. Um, but that means I'm going to head uh, west, northwest I guess, this is general direction, following the, the power lines that I'm currently standing under. Um, so this is a utility trail for maintaining the power lines. kind of goes up one side of this nature park. Okay, so here we go, here's an ant's nest. Now walking here in Canberra, this was a rookie mistake I made early on. The ants here, particularly the ones you find on hiking trails, 
are really aggressive <laughs> like bite some species sting it's really unpleasant and they have a tendency to build their nests in the middle of tracks and trails uh, and the minute you stand on one they just swarm you it's really you make that mistake once and you will never make it again anyway to demonstrate there's an ant's nest down here that's not so agitated so i thought i'd go down and uh agitate them at my own peril just to kind of give you an idea of what i mean so probably a bit hard to see on the gopro but that is the ant's nest um i'm getting a bit closer to them hopefully without upsetting them too much um, there's lots of holes, it's not just the one. It's quite a big nest, all this funny shingly gravel is their nest. Now the minute I step near it or on it, they're gonna swarm me. I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Boom, swarm. I'm already covered in them. They're biting my shoe. Um, look at this, boom biting away, biting at my shoe. The problem is when they get up over your shoe onto your sock, like these ones are getting very close to doing, that's when they start hurting. So I'm gonna back off and leave these guys alone. So the other thing here about hiking in Australia is the uh, so-called Aussie salute. That flies, I just, I just, you know, I've dealt with flies before, bad flies. But honestly, here in Australia, it's next. Uh, it's just unbelievable. It's next level. I've never had flies so bad. So here I am on the northern edge of the uh, nature park, Black Mountain Nature Park. Uh, this is where I'd expect to see kangaroos and wallabies, and there's quite a lot of scatter around, which is always a good sign. I know they're around here. The uh, tricky part with finding them in summer is. You know, the minute it gets hot, they hide. They disappear into the shrub, into the bush, and it's pretty hard to find them. They're very camouflaged against all those grey eucalypt trunks. Um, and to be honest, it's hot. I'm sweating up a storm, uh, and I'm not wearing a fur coat like a wallaby or a kangaroo does. So, you know, I, I think we may have missed them, but we are going to turn up into the bush just up here. Um, we might see some in there. Classic so hot and sweaty that I've uh, managed to get sunscreen running down in my sweat from my forehead down into my eyes. So now uh, I'm a squinty pirate man uh, with a runny nose. The joys of the joys of hiking in summer. self-crested cockatoo being destructive as they always are they just like to chew on everything Starting our ascent now, heading up, I kind of go up and curve around and then we get off these fire trails uh, and start heading up a walking trail to the summit of Little Black Mountain.
So here we are coming up to the point where we will turn off the Black Mountain, a uh, little Black Mountain circuit, fire trail circuit, sorry. We're going to turn off here and up onto a walking only track rather than a uh, fire trail. So I'm going to try and capture butterflies, lots of them, there's one there, but lots of them, they tend to hide inside these burnt out tree stumps and logs and things, and when you come up to them, just huge numbers of them are flying out, not huge, but you know, a dozen to a couple dozen, so let's see, this one, oh, here we go, there we go, look at them all, they just nest, you can see them all in here, there's some that haven't flown off. I think they're pretty cool. There's one down there. Oh, buddy. So we're coming up to the summit here. It just gets a little bit steep and a bit, a bit of loose rock as you come up to this last part. But not too much further. It's not really much of a hill, to be honest. Um, it's a beautiful one. This is this is what I do it for. That's sweat. Sunscreeny sweat running into my oh there goes a a lizard, not a snake. There's a blue tongue skink. He just ran under a log, so I'm gonna see if I can get a shot of him. Can't see it, unfortunately. What a shame. So here I am at the top now, and I just gotta say it's absolutely perfect. This is this is what I do this for. I you know, I've just got to see some cool wildlife beautiful bush it's a perfect sunny day there's even a conveniently placed log at the top here for sitting on um, to have a little bit of a break a bit of a slurp of water it's fantastic So I'm on the way down now, so well over halfway, it's pretty short. Hop down from the top here, back down to the roadside. But yeah, it's been beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, these, this, this nature reserve is great for walking uh, in summer because of the butterflies and in spring, there's, the wildflowers in this reserve are unbelievable. They're just absolutely stunning. Um, and lots of wild orchids and things like that. It's a very, very lovely place to walk. So I thought I was going to stop here and uh, do some nice scenic shots, but that may not happen because I've got a friendly march fly. Okay, the march fly got the better of me. I don't think I've ever seen a tree so red. It's dead. And I assume it's some sort of lichen or mould, but very 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 red I always hate these parts of the trail where there's lots of overhanging grass and people don't walk them very frequently because snakes so here we are back out on the fire trail of the utility road I assume it's probably both 
for the uh, power lines. So big power lines behind me, over running overhead. So we're basically back where we started, just down into this little gully in front of me. So there we are, back out on the main road. Main road, it's actually a suburban street. Anyway, anyway, back out on the edge of the nature park, the walk done. It's a shame we didn't get to see any uh, snakes, wallabies or kangaroos, but you know, as with wildlife, can't really guarantee anything ever. Uh, and I'm fortunate that the only large lizard we saw, actually the only lizard I saw that whole walk, I didn't catch on camera, I just caught it scaring me on camera. <clears throat> but yeah, that's it for this time. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of a waddle around Black Mountain. I have an ant on me. I need to stop standing on ants nests. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that walk around Little Black Mountain. Enjoyed the butterflies and the screaming cockatoos. Until next time, thanks for watching.